Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Gary here. Gan. Gary Gan here live from beautiful sunny Malaysia. And uh, how are you guys doing on a beautiful Friday morning? Right here in Malaysia, probably it's afternoon for you, evening or night for you, right? So today is a Friday and what everybody is saying? TGIF. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Friday. I hope you don't have to say this because I hope and I wish that every day is a Friday for you, every day is a Sunday, every day is holiday, every day is a great blessing. Alright, so guys, um, let me share with you, today I am doing a live video to talk about a marketing and sales technique that I've learned many many years ago from many successful people in the sales industry that has got me tremendous results and improving my selling ability and today this is exactly what I would like to share with you alright see many years ago I was, uh, I, I was just like many many people who just hated sales who just look at sales as a really really low or, or, or something is so so disgusted you know why because do you have you ever seen signages where you go to people's office you know they put this uh, big sign there and says no salesman allowed uh, no selling allowed you know like as if they make selling the profession of selling like as if it's something so low so dirty so uh, so disgusted that people just push it away right now I grew up like that, I'm not sure about you. Give me a comment if you also grew up in this type of environment thinking like selling is no no, you know, there are some people who say it out loud like, you know, you know what, I'm not here to sell, I'm not here to, you know, uh, I'm not selling you anything, you know, they just want to hide behind that, that comfortness of not wanting to sell. But actually there's nothing, nothing wrong in selling, alright, there's really, really nothing wrong. In fact, the funny thing about life is, if you think about it, everybody loves to buy something, okay? Do you realize that everybody wakes up and through the entire day until they go back to sleep at night, every, the whole, during the whole day, somehow there are thoughts of buying something. Do you agree with me? If you agree, just type on the comment and, and let me hear you out, right? So, people think of what to buy, for example, what, do I, what am I going to eat, you know? Um, and if you go to that particular restaurant, you decided on that restaurant, what menu you want to choose, what clothes I'm going to buy, what watches, cars, house, laptops, you know, um, phones, um, shoes, so many things out there and everyday people are always thinking of what to buy. And every day, whether you like it or not, people are buying, right? Every day, the world is full of people buying things. So the point I'm trying to say is, people love to buy. Unfortunately, they don't like to be sold. <laughs> so that's a funny thing, right? And if you really think about this, how are people going to buy something if nobody is selling? So the point again is sales is perfectly okay. Sales and buying, selling and buying is just like in Chinese, there is this thing called the yin and yang balance, right? You need to have the yin and the yang, the balance. Like you need to have daylight and the darkness, you know. Uh, you need to have daylight and night. You need to have the cold and the hot. You need to have the tall and the short, the fat and the thin. You know, all these are balance, you know, the, the sadness and happiness all goes hand in hand. So, so selling and buying are both jive together. If nobody's selling, who is going to be buying? What to buy? If nobody is buying them, who is going to sell? So it comes together. But the point I'm trying to say, the marketing tip today is very simple. Is that people don't like to be sold. How many of y'all are really cheesed off with people keep forcing things down your throat, you know? How many of y'all really just 
look at the phone and somebody calls you and immediately you don't want to answer or you block that person or you you know you just avoid the calls because you know that person is calling you because he wants to sell you something you know you 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 felt like as if he wants to make money he wants to literally take the money from you your hard earned money you know you you sacrifice so much of your time your health your family to earn those money and he's just there wanting to sell you something that probably you don't need or you 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 perception wise you think that it is not something that you need right now and you just avoid that person or, or you walked into a supermarket all right you walk into any retail shops and and you have these sales people standing out there like you know uh, trying to 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 get you to buy something you, you you don't like that right but you like to buy things and that's human nature everyone including me I love to buy things but I don't like people selling to me. So the point I'm trying to say is many years ago I was in that same position in having difficulty to sell. And the reason was my entire idea about selling was just pushing a product to somebody, taking that money and I make my commission. It is always about me making my commission. It is about me getting my quota done because I've got a sales quota I need to meet every single month. It was me, me and me. And then that one magical thing changed in my life was when I started to learn about the psychology of selling, about the psychology of the buyer. It is more about the buyer than me. That's where my life changed. That's where my selling ability just skyrocketed up the roof, you know. It was like magic. Suddenly, I'm able to sell anything under the sun. From, from a guy who could not sell anything, from a guy who literally nearly being caught by the police because I was harassing. You know, I've told this story many, many times, you know. I was, my, one of my first few uh, sales job was selling medical equipment. I literally, you know, I literally, um, how should I say it? I literally followed the doctor back to the house, you know, just so that I can see, get an appointment. You know, I was like, I don't know what's the word, but I, I was like, I was like harassing that person just to make sure I get my sale. But it's not that way. So I realized then, at, when, when I went through this science of selling, this science of psychology of the buyer, it's about the buyer. It has never been about me. But of course, I need to do something to fit into that psychology so that they will buy. Can you imagine from somebody who cannot sell to today, a lot of people actually call me, oh, that guy, Gary, he can literally sell ice to Eskimo. Why do people tell me that is because, or why do people say um, things like that about me is because not only I can sell very well, but I can make the sales so smoothly that people want to buy more from me, from my team, you know? And then I realized that the actual principle about selling is about the buyer. You need to be buyer focused and you need to always put yourself in the other person's shoe. What do you not like about salespeople? What do you not like when somebody is trying to sell you something? Now, if you don't like that, then you must always remember that same person doesn't like that from you if you are doing that. So we always commit that same mistake by doing something that we ourselves don't like. You remember the golden rule? Do something unto others where you want like some others do unto you, right? That's the golden rule. So if you don't like how salespeople are trying to sell you, don't do that same mistake of trying to sell somebody that way. So the point is, you need to, number one, remember, First thing you need to remember is everybody is buying. That's number one. Okay, don't have that mindset that oh, sales is difficult. Uh, nobody is buying. Uh, the the economy is, is in a bad shape. You know, so nobody is spending. No, that is utter rubbish. Okay, everybody, whether economy is good, economy is bad, people are buying every single day. Question is, are they buying from you? Are they buying your product? Are they looking for you? <laughs> That you need to decide. Okay, so everybody is buying. Number two, everybody loves to buy. Everybody loves to buy. Okay, everybody loves to buy. The question is, do they need what you want? Do they, do they see 
that what you have to offer is something that they must have must have not not just only oh i think it's good to have you know if i can have some money i can have extra money i'll buy something no 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 if they if you are going to make sure that you're going to sell like crazy you but you better make sure that the thing that you are offering is something that people feel i must have it when i wake up in the morning okay this is the decision i need to i need to make that i must get this thing from that person okay that's number two and number three very important is you need to be on that person's side so you must always think of why that person must buy from you what's so special about you okay what can you do where others cannot do because very simple if you let, let me share with you a very simple example if you are selling let's say mercedes you are not the only mercedes salesperson or you are not the only car salesperson there are people selling bmws there are people selling tesla cars you know so if they are going to buy something from someone why must it buy from you okay so one of the thing is if people like to buy and they don't like to be sold these are the few things that my sales coach and mentor used to tell me these are the few things that you need to do and i tried it and it got me results like crazy and i'm going to share this with you this morning all right guys so number one think of how you can serve the community okay now i like to share this is because a lot of people are having the mindset of taking nothing wrong with taking but before you take always remember the giving comes first the giving comes before taking so ask yourself this question how can you serve others before getting your share of the things that you want which is your commission which is your bonus which is whatever your sales right so serving for example if you are selling a product are you let's say for example if you are like if you are in my industry in the water industry in kangen water all right or the Kangen business opportunity business whatever you look at it number one how much value can you give to others before expecting a single dollar from them you know what i'm trying to say how much value can you give people even before they buy anything from you so whether it can be information like this you know you can do a live video you can do a youtube video you can do things that can benefit people before even them giving you anything think of what can you do okay to give people first to make people feel like hey this guy is amazing this guy is giving me value if ever i want to buy something and if this guy has it i'm going to buy from that person because he has been giving me so much right you know human nature like that we always feel indebted in a way if this person is so good is helping me so much things if he one day need me to buy something or do something i'll do it for them am i right so that's normal so what can you serve what can you give to people number two what can you give people for free probably your product can your product be given for free of course if you are driving if you are a car car salesperson you can't actually give a car for free unless <laughs> unless your father is bill gates right or jeff bezos <laughs> other than that you can't give a car for free maybe you can give test truck test drive you know maybe you can give certain maybe uh, a rentals or something that you can actually give for a very low cost or for free or for tryouts now the beauty especially to my friends who are from kangen business the energic business the best thing about our product we can give it up for free because mine is only water the water you can give for free people can try it. and i'm very sure for those of you who are viewing is if you are in the kangen business you know what i'm talking about because most of the time when you give out for free you end up with a sale okay most of the time all right so what can you give for free okay your product and the last but not least the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that they focus a lot about the product that they are selling but they forgot to focus about them as the person this is the most important point that i like to tell you today you need to focus about you the person that's selling in i'm not saying focus you means about that commission that i talked about earlier when i said focus about you you me 
I'm talking about your entire per entire being as a person, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you talk, your mindset, your self-development. And that's the reason why in sales, in anything performance-based, you need to develop your mindset a lot. Because this is how you're going to get more sales into your life. And the reason is because people not only buy the product, yes, already I told you, right? They want to buy the product, they have a need for the product, but more important, they are buying from that person. And the reason they buy from you is that they are comfortable with you. They see something in you, they trust you, they like you, they are, I mean, be very honest about things. Would you, would you buy from somebody that you despise? Would you buy something from somebody if you don't like that person? If you, would you buy something from somebody that you really are disgusted with? You think about that. So the final equation in this selling process is you need to think of you. You need to build you. You need to upgrade you. All right. So I realized that as I improve myself, as I go through this journey of life and I keep improving myself, you know what I realized? My sales results, my sales performance grows better and better and better. It's not just only I'm good at talking, the product is better, it's not only that, but it's because I have improved, I have bring myself to a, set, a, to a very, very high level. So this, my friend, I'm going to share with you the three very important points, okay? So remember this, number one, how can you serve before you get anything. Number two, what can you give for free? And number three, you need to upgrade, improve you because people are buying from you. So finally guys, this is what I'm trying to say. Everybody is buying. Everybody wants to buy. But people don't like to be sold. So focus on the buyer, not on the commission. <laughs> of course, the commission is important. At the end of the day, yes, we have a nice commission. But focus on why people need to buy from you. Alright, so guys, I hope today's session is an eye-opener if you are new to sales, if you are new to marketing, but this, this one information changed my life from somebody who cannot sell at all to somebody people refer to as the ability to sell ice to Eskimo. So guys, if you like this message, I strongly encourage you to click the share button so that this message can find itself out in the world and you can touch somebody's lives out there. Once again, Gary Gunn here live from beautiful sunny Malaysia. I wish you the very best in your health, greatness in happiness, and as usual, let's be the miracle the world is waiting for. And with this, have a great day. Bye!